Hello guys, Dusty here, and I just realized that last episode kind of got a little melancholy, didn't it? But we're back, we're hopefully happy, and we got the guide up and running again, so that's pretty cool. So we got no problem here, that's cool. We're going to find freaking Orange Kid. No, Apple Kid. I, I checked, it's Apple Kid. Confirmed, Apple Kid confirmed, Half-Life 3 confirmed. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we are going to look around. You said it was Berglin Park, I... Uh, did he lie to me? And is he like actually in like Canada or something? I don't know. Maybe maybe he's actually in in his house. Who knows? Maybe, maybe that's maybe that's the missing part of the information piece. Who knows? Um, I don't know. That's what we're gonna try to find out. Okay. So I think it's. Oh crap! No! 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 New Age Retro Hippie. I swear I get attacked by those every day. Uh, okay, he used a ruler on me, which I'm pretty sure is um, child endangerment, if I'm not mistaken, but who knows? <clears throat> we killed him, so it doesn't matter. That's, that's the way I like to look at things. If you kill the hippie, it doesn't really matter, does it? Right now. That's... Uh, we're gonna go into the Apple Kid's house and we're gonna check out things. Yeah, he's he's gone. He's gone. He is he is not in here right now. Um, there's a broken machine inside the the trash bin there, so that was that was worth it, right? We got a broken machine as opposed to you know a functional machine. And we're gonna go back to Berglund Park. We shouldn't assume uh, he lied to us because he didn't. So that's good. That's good. I like to see goodness in the world, sometimes. Uh, oh, is that? No, that's not him. Crooked cops. Uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, um... Is he in the house here? <coughs> no, this is, uh, this is, um, him. This is the Everdread Berglund, Berglund uh, thing. Okay, uh, man, I'm, I'm starting to get tired. Oh, there's Apple Kid, yeah. I passed right by him in the last episode. I feel dumb. I'm feeling really out of it because I've been working all night, but finally, the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil-shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. Will do. Okay, here's yours now. It's yours. Here, here is it, yours. If I invent another brilliant item, I will call you. Okay, cool. So now we gotta go over to the pencil again. Mm-hmm. Isn't it cool that he just happened to uh, make a pencil eraser when we needed a pencil eraser? Isn't that, isn't that nifty? That was nice of him. Dang it, I got orange juice all over myself. Maybe because these half gallons of half gallons aren't made to be drunk out of directly. You know, in Canada, they get their milk in bags. Do they get their orange juice in bags too? Because I figure it wouldn't be as misleading to put a handle on it and you, because you see a handle on something you think oh i can drink from that but no apparently not it's apparently not socially correct to drink out of a half gallon of orange juice like despite the fact i live by myself and nobody will drink that besides me in fact i'll probably have it done once it, dang it Stupid you go die you go die. That's what you do. I will I will make you go die. I will I'll make you go die, huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll make you do it Yeah, you're, you're gonna die and it's gonna hurt. Uh-huh. Yeah How's that feel you feel dead? Yeah, enemy left print. Yeah, catch a packet Yeah, I'll throw something away I'll... <coughs> I won't throw something away because catch a packet is almost relatively valueless. I suppose no uh, loop heck it, yeah, screw it, right, all right, uh, goods, what do we got, we got a can of fruit juice, we could use that, and we recovered 6 HP, well, that was kind of a waste of inventory space, goods, um, pencil eraser, receiver phone, broken bicycle, actually, okay, there's, most of the stuff I kind of need, so, we're just gonna go ahead and mosey right along here and we're just gonna go ahead and exit the cave and then enter it back in again and I uh, 
yeah, I know this may be annoying at first, but then, you know, you, you got to remember, I'm not going to be constantly dying. Uh, so that's also uh, not annoying, right? So we're going to go ahead and create a restore point here too. So just in case I do die, then <clears throat> I'll be able to restore my point. See, that's cool, isn't it? Okay, we're just going to go ahead and wait until no enemies have spawned, uh, at least in the entryway, because this hallway can be full of freaking enemies, and we don't want that, do we? Um, <coughs> mm. Yeah. Okay, so then we can go ahead, run down here, and try to stay away from any any killy kills, the bad kill things, the bad kill things, not not the good kill things, good kill things we want, but everybody knows that. Why am I even explaining? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use our goods, pencil eraser. Isn't that cool? Isn't that a cool concept? pencil erasers so things that erase entire pencils uh, anyway okay i think i can go through uh, just across the bridge here um and then let's hope we don't get lost but bit bit it boo, boo. i'm sorry if i'm a little quiet uh these past few episodes but uh, i think i mentioned in the last episode i have a bit of a cold oh these bushes will mess you up they will mess you and your life up Oh, we do not want any of their business. We will just politely do that. And, yeah, see, this game has its exploits. We're going to nest open the present. There is a travel charm inside. Travel charm, what does that do? Um, go ahead, just travel charm. I think that's a... Help! Travel charm must be equipped on your body. It protects you from paralysis. Okay, I think I'm actually having a travel charm on my body right now. And that's something. Okay, we're going to stay away from any bushes that look like that. Because they sometimes move and try to kill you. Like this one right here. And, that, and that's something. Um, where are we? Where are we, Houston? Maybe we should have probably looked at the map. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Okay, that guy will probably kill me. It's a prism of death. Okay, okay, we got... No problem here. Yeah, that's great. We need to we need to heal up. We need to heal up nice and good. I forgot how to I forgot how to play this video game. Okay, there we go. Um, yes, I. We will use go life up. Go trusty life up right there. And we're gonna butterfly ourselves up. Mhm. Mm and he made me relax. No, oh, no. And we. Kind of, uh, maybe a little bit further away. We have to unload this part of the map. Oh, crap. Can get him caught up on that tree there. We did get another magic butterfly, so that's pretty cool. I know, this game can so easily be exploited, and I hate doing that, but right now my um, whole situation here is not uh, looking too on the up and up right now when it comes to... Like when you get to Happy Happy Village, the uh, you get higher level enemies, and um, I believe you get higher level enemies, and they're easier. So I'm trying to avoid these. Like bushes are really death machines. Like that guy right there, that one that's following me. You want to think about it, but he can like self destruct, like you know, um, uh, Electrode and Pokemon, and uh, he'll ruin your day and your week. Seriously, what is up with this friggin'... <sighs> I just cannot get a lucky break here. I should probably look at the map, too. If I can find it here. It's gotta be here somewhere. There we are, okay. So, we are supposed to go here, and then we're supposed to go down the long way and onto a bridge. Okay, so we've been doing that for no reason. So we gotta go down here. Please do not be alive, thank you. Um, see, that, they try to trick you with that. They... they that's where they get you. Um, we'll just go ahead and do that. Then we will go ahead, go up here, and we will hope that this guy despawns. Nope, he did not despawn. Will you despawn now? Nope. Let's go up further. Mm -hmm. He despawned. Cool. Oh, crap. There's more. There's more of these. There's more of them to be killing me. And yeah, we're just... We're doing this the only way I know how, okay? Don't judge me. Oh, come on. Despawn. Please despawn. 
If I say please, well, I, I don't honestly mind those guys when we're trying to avoid bushes here. They're, they are deadly with a capital O oh, crap. Deadly with a capital O oh, crap. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good either. Um, okay. We're strategizing. Is this a permanent push? Okay, good. Okay, so we're right here right now. I believe this is where we're supposed to be. Right, see, there's a gift there. Okay, we're strategizing. Because that's all we can do in a situation like this. Okay. Okay, we're going to go down and get that. I get that bacon right there. Okay, we're going to despawn the scary, scary. And we're going to open the present. And there's a luck capsule. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Um... They're gonna go goods, and we're gonna we're using strategizing. Um, <coughs> okay, what do we not need? We do not need. Okay, we can eat the skip sandwich right now, and then we can call our good old friend there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. this is fun. This is what the skip sandwich does for those of you wondering uh, at home. This actually makes this much more bearable. Okay, we're it's basically as good as it gets now at this point. Um, okay, we could kind of just kind of, uh, kind of wish we could skip sandwich around that guy, but no. Nope. Yeah, that was kind of unavoidable. Uh, I don't want to have to try to unspawn just a lone mobile sprout. Uh, as long as he does not bring any friends into the party. Then these guys will be easy when we get done with Happy Happy Village. See, I'm I'm being strategizing. It's just uh, HP and paralysis. Oh, that's good. We can paralyze this things. Maybe PSI life up. We'll top off our life here, and we will grab you. I'm sorry if these uh, next couple episodes are a little bit more boring. Uh, trying to get from one place to another. Uh, we're going to talk to this guy, too. I wonder who made the bridge impassable. Why would somebody do this crud? Yep, I think I think we're close. Let's see here. Yeah, we just need to go right around here, I believe. We can wait to pick up, like, any other stuffs, and then we can go through here. Awesome. And this should be, like, from what I understand, a direct route to the Happy Happy Village. Uh, well, actually, are we supposed to go down this way? I think, is there something down here? No, there isn't. Well, great. That, well, we are screwed. But we are going to save first. We are going to we are gonna go ahead and create a restore point because that's what we do. Because we're cheaters and we suck at this video game. I'm sorry, guys. This is, this is like Metal Gear espionage stuff. Oh, I should play Metal Gear. Are you live? Okay, good. I swear, these trees are the most freaking annoying things. I almost feel like checking the map to make sure that they're, you know... Uh, oh, oh, this guy is going to kill us. This guy is going to kill us, eat our bacon, and we do not want that, do we? No, Siri. Thank God I don't have an iPhone or else it would have went like all... Boop, 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 boop. Uh, okay, so... We're in this little magical land. Okay, so I think I can just go up here and through that cave down there okay we're, we're we're strategizing guys that's what we do on earthbound let's play episode one through episode all episodes of earthbound let's play oh a snake we can take on snakes see look at that look how we just took on that snake right there see this is this is where things get easy and we just walk through those guys like nothing look at that so good at snakes, we can just walk through them. We can talk to the small here. I am not your enemy. I am just a plain old mole. You are certainly stronger than you were when you were wandering around Onet. Have you ever suddenly gotten the you won message when you meet a weak enemy? This sure proof you stronger waste your enemy's time fighting wimpies, do you? That was English of some sort. But yeah, we are in happy, happy village now, guys. Isn't that freaking amazing? Yeah, it's all nice and beautiful and blue. Well, let's talk to this person here. No problem here. Oh yeah, I should probably save my state here because there's a good chance that something or someone will kill us uh, at some point. So 
Uh, we should probably do that. One day, Mr. Carpenter uh, received a revelation. He now speaks the real truth. I, I, opposed to the not real truth. The, the, the fake truth that, you know, doesn't exist. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we're going to be going through, um, we're going to be hitting the wrong buttons, doing the wrong things. We're still going to be sick because I'm planning on recording another one of these. And, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to go just go ahead and do the happy, happy village stuff. If you noticed, everything is blue. So we're going to find out why that is next episode on the exciting next episode of Earthbound, where all the Earth's bound stuff. Thank you for watching. See you all next time.